Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Dion here at Photo Beast. Today I wanted to do something really fun. I'm always doing wildlife, landscapes, and mostly, mostly bird photography, especially backyard birds where I'm chasing eagles and ospreys around the waters, catching fish, and just always outside. Today it's raining and I didn't want to get wet except for my shower. So I wanted to have some fun with you guys and I thought about what's more fun than generative AI. I have gotten, I guess you could say, some rather crazy results, especially with Photoshop. Now I do have a few apps on my phone that I want to share in a future video. Some good, some bad for photo restorations and things like that. So like I said, without further ado, let's jump on over. Now I've got a couple pictures here. The first one is a hawk on a swimming pool. The second one is an osprey. Now none of these, these are just straight raw pictures. None of them have been edited. And this guy got his wing clipped. And I think we've all been here before where we actually have, uh, or you wildlife guys have all been here before where we have shot a bird and part of the wings clip because it comes down and it just moves in and out of the frame too much. Now, fortunately, I did catch this bird and I do have a great shot of him peeking at me as he flew by. It was just the look on his face. But I wanna see, what if this was the only picture that I had? Would I be able to salvage it? Would I be able to post it and fool everybody, I guess you could say? How good is AI when it comes to that? Now, I will say, um, with this guy here, there are two deers. This is the back of my property line and behind my um, little cheap above ground pool. I shouldn't say cheap, it was a thousand bucks, but still, uh, there was three deers back there. There's actually one back in the woods right in here, but I wanna see, can we bring his body back and bring the torso and legs back? The next one is going to be the giraffe's horns. Just, can we get the giraffe's horns back? And lastly, the dreaded wedding or portrait photos. Now, this was a gentleman that paid me to do his wedding. This is his daughter. They were behind the scenes in this like closet kind of room. They got married in this big, beautiful barn. And there was this little room in the back where I stored all my camera gear and stuff. And it's kind of like, I guess you could say the supply room right off to the kitchen. And they wanted to take this picture right here. And I said, no, the background, the background, the background. But they were so adamant on taking this picture at this moment. And I knew that it would be a doozy. So I did fix the picture um, months ago because this wedding was months ago and I gave it to him. But for the purposes of this video, let's see how good generative AI works for just removing the background. And maybe we can put them on a beach or in a different room or something. Let's just play and have fun and let's see what the results are. All right, so the very first picture I want to do is the hawk. So with the hawk, I wanna go ahead, I'm just gonna crop this guy in some. And for the purposes of this one, I think what I'd like to do is put this kinda in portrait mode, cause he's looking this way. And like I said, this is just for fun. So, so we have this, I'm gonna hit Z for zoom. I'm gonna hit Control J make a copy sorry my dog was on my lap he got a dog hair on my <laughs> on my keyboard I want to get rid of all this so let's take our uh, which tool should we use let's use the lasso tool and I'll go down under his little toes here and luckily it's dark right there so and then let me get on here. Let's see if we can get a giant log. Okay, generate a fill. Dead log or dead tree trunk. Log tree trunk, tree stump. I don't know. I've heard different things. The more words you put, the better that it does. The less you do, the better it does. I don't know. We're just having fun. Can we get a beautiful tree stump? Actually, that came out pretty damn good, man. So he is no longer, oh my goodness, except for the silly toe right here. <laughs> it came out great. 
I mean, we could sit here and keep going with it, but I would have to say this one they got a thumbs up on. Really like it. And I'm going to give them give them a thumbs up. Now, this one here is not bad. What I'd like to do is to make this guy a little bit bigger and make this smaller and bring this in here. And this is what we're talking about, clipping the wings, okay? So let's do this. And it's doing generative AI right now. Can we get a, can I get a wing? Wing, wing, come on, baby. I think that it can actually do it and it might do a phenomenal job. And it did, it really did. We also have some other selections because of course you get three. I think two actually looks really nice. It's kind of big. They did a great job on this. Now, I am not going to say that every time you use this software, you get great results. My sister got married some 10 years ago, her and her husband are on the beach, and I tried to just make her dress longer. And when it came to the feet, his feet came out like clown shoes and it was just terrible. So sometimes you get some wild results, but for the most part, that one did good. Now, we saw how good it did with a, a little wing. Can it do the whole wing? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's take it. I'm actually gonna go up so the software has a little bit to play with. And let me just hit generate. It's that simple. I mean, you really don't have a lot of work to do. I'm not even typing wing. It's just looking at the whole situation. And my goodness, man, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love it. And you get different options too. Once again, one looks great. Two looks great. I think one probably for this one. Two looks good as well. Still a little crop, but that was my fault. That's where I cut it off. Photoshop, you're killing it today, man. All right, what about these guys? See, so we got the deers. Oh dear. And I'm not even, like I said, not even playing here. I'm just hitting, just hitting generate, just to see. I'm not cutting pieces out. I'm not doing nothing fancy. You see what I'm doing? Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you serious, dude? Come on, man. Oh, this is so cool. Quick story. Many, many years ago in the videos in my catalog of early YouTube videos from last year, there's a girl at work, her father passed away. She has a picture of him on a horse. His face is unrecognizable because it's so blurry. And the horse is cut because it's a one-to-one -one ratio picture. She wanted me to print it out. So I printed a one-to-one -one on a 13 by 19. So basically you've got this big rectangle with a square picture. And she was like, well, why is it not stretched out? I said, well, you have to, you know, make it, but you can't stretch a one-to-one -to, -one to 13 by 19. And long story short, when this software first came out, I put the legs back on the horse and the horse's nose and she was ecstatic. As far as the dad's face, I took another picture and kind of warped it in on the existing face and then blurred it just a tad so it matched the picture, came out phenomenal she actually cried when she got the picture let's see how good we do with the giraffe can we go and get every picture done and well today will it actually work this is very important come on Photoshop really I do have to say for animals and animal photography this is just, <laughs> that one's going the wrong way, but <laughs> it just did a great job. Look at this. Look at this, man. Before, after. It's just, if you got some old pictures, you know, I do a lot of restorations in this software. This chair squeaking. This software has really, really helped me. Now this one here is probably going to be the crazier one out of all of them. Um, I'm not going to do an expand. I do want to make a selection. So I'm going to say select, um, what's this doing here? Background, I need to make a copy, control J. And I'm going to say select, <sighs> select, 
subject and then we'll invert it how about that and let's just say a, a church I only typed church I didn't type inside church so I don't know how well this is going to work out I should have been a little bit more descriptive but let's just see if they understand that this is a wedding they do it's the cutout that looks terrible which is actually my fault and they only gave me two selections so the second one came out pretty good so we have the lovely father and daughter in the church which actually came out pretty nice anyways guys thank you so much for joining me one last look we got him on a stump we got before after we got the bird before after we got bird number two this one was more important before after we have the deer oh dear before after we have the moose i'm sorry we have the giraffe i know it's not a moose i'm just make sure you guys are still awake and i put you to sleep and then we have the church so i'd have to say that it's pretty much a win-win now the church like I said, that was my fault with selection. We have to be fast. It's a quick video. Let's have fun. Now, I need you to go down there, like, share, subscribe. I said like, share, subscribe. Because I have dropped my Canon R5 three times making videos because I love you guys. And then the other thing is I just broke the door off. They want a lot of it. So I have to fix my Canon R5 door. So I will see you guys in the next one. So please like, share, subscribe so I can get monetized and pay to fix my camera so I can make more videos because I love you guys. See y'all soon. Take care. God bless. So. Ay, ay, ay. So if I go here, control, hold. That's for image. What did I do? Control, shift, I. Why can I not remember? Control, I, I thought was invert. Yeah, it is. Control-I. Can't remember today.